Questions, yeah. Indran will answer all of them. So we have, we have time for 10, ten minutes or so for questions. Steve? Well, Sonia and Indra, uh, Indra, thank you both for an excellent presentation. Sonia, your request that all three modalities be the same is coming. By November, ELECTA will release the Cone Beam CT addition to the Gamma Knife Perfection. It's already up and running in Europe. It will include plastic face mask, will include infrared positioning system. So it's going to become much more like LINAC and, and CyberKnife than it ever has been before. So we are all coming together. Slowly but surely. Mm -hmm. Any others? I have a simple question. And uh, from your experience, uh, you st uh, st follow the minimum fuel size for 3.5 cm. And uh, if that's a, uh, we can't, it's for smaller tumor, or you, if you use a rapid art or MRT, you know the fuel size, it depends on the planning and can be a lot more smaller than that. It's uh, for current treatment planning system, do you feel we should give up the 3.5 cm limitation? Yeah, that's a good question. I, you know, from our experience, uh, and as you kind of alluded, uh, we've studied quite a few of these. With the current algorithms, convolution superposition type algorithms, you probably don't need to worry about that too much. You know, you may have to worry about it if you're dealing with very small things that are on the order of one to two centimeters. But uh, I don't think we have to, we need that. Th that three and a half centimeters was put in by Bob Timmerman because he was not using heterogeneity correction in his, uh, in his initial protocol. But uh, if you use the current algorithms, I think we're, we're in decent shape. Uh, my question is regarding uh, six X triple uh, F beam. We are in the process of commissioning on our uh, 2300 IX machine. Um, we have a A16 uh, ion chamber. Uh, mo most of the time people use uh, three by three centimeter field size, but I have collected data up to one centimeter. And our intent is SPRT lung cases. So do you think that one centimeter with A16, that is uh, a good uh, selection of uh, field size, the minimum field size which I, I have chosen for profiles and PDD? Yeah, you definitely want to want to check that. I mean, what's the size? I'm not sure what the size of the A16 is, but but certainly cross compare it with the diode and another type of chamber, and just look at the publications for the output factor for an A16 at that field size. Yeah, yeah, I agree. yeah. <laughs> yeah I, I I feel very uncomfortable with an A16 once I go below two two by two centimeters. Uh, I usually I switched to diodes at 4.4. I think once you are at 3x3, three three, you should uh, switch to a diode or really a micro chamber with a millimeter diameter. There's actually a, a nice paper in the, uh, in the by uh, Werfel, and he recommends, a, I think, a 1 to 3 ratio of size of your detector versus size of your field. So for a one centimeter diameter field, your detector should not be larger than three millimeters in any dimension, and ideally uh, should be on the order of two millimeters in any dimension. Okay. Yeah, and I you know, that's a great point. We typically uh, in the clinic will do diodes for things less than three, and then we'll do that cross normalization at three by three. Okay, thank you. Just wanted to add to that last question. Not only do you have to worry about the size of the detector, but there's been a lot of work that's been done recently using Monte Carlo simulation to figure out the perturbation the detector has in the field. And most of them are suggesting correction factors on just about all the detectors once you start getting down to that size. That's an excellent point. And especially at one by one or, or things less than uh, one by one, uh, we have encountered this issue in the clinic. You can't reconcile the output factor differences between film, like if you do gaff chromic film and even diode, there's about a seven, five to seven percent difference. And that's exactly because of those perturbation factors that he, the gentleman referred to. And, and this is where the task group protocol is going to help us, I'm, 
hoping.